Hey guys, welcome back to VTV. My name is Priscilla and here today I have Shanice Nicole with me who just finished a workshop at Vanny College. So your workshop is titled uh, Reading Between the Lines, quote unquote the lies um, of um, bias in the media. So do you want to explain a bit what that means? Sure. Um, I mean, we only had an hour. So the first thing I said was that we're not going to be able to get uh, as deep into it as I'd like to, but it was really just thinking about how so many of us um, have not been given the tools to be media literate. And what I mean by that is to be able to engage with media and to ask questions, to not make as many assumptions, to think about what's missing, what's included, who's telling the story. And so we really just had a conversation about um, different examples from the media, what they mean or what they can mean, um, and how we can kind of just ask more questions so that we can be more literate together. Just to touch up on what you said, like asking more questions, we live in a society today where we're like, we take everything as it is written. Like, what are the consequences of not uh, uh, of not asking questions and things like that? Totally. Well, one of the stats that I shared is that nine over 90% of the media is controlled by white men. And so what does it mean if 90% of what we're engaging with is controlled by one body of people? It totally shapes, um, or I would rather say it skews what we see and how we interpret it. And so I think it's really important that we're able to kind of understand that and then to question it based on that fact um, and to rethink and reimagine what types of media we can be engaging in, what media can do and say, um, where we can find those sources. I think that's really, really critical. For our students, uh, CIGEP students and all, like which type of media do you think impacts what impacts us the most and like how how is the bias presented to us? Well, I mean, one of the things in the workshop that we did was a brainstorm about all the different types of media. And a real range kind of came up in the room, and I think that range is reflective of society. Um, but I think for young people, and students in particular, social media is, uh, I would say, kind of the main source of information, which shifts and has shifted over time. Um, where possibly in the past, the newspaper and magazines may have been the source where people got most of their information, but now we can do everything on a screen, which has also shifted the way that we engage with it. I think about, I was sharing, um, I'm really uh, notorious for just reading article headlines and not actually opening the article. And so what does it mean that what the information I get is just from the article, just from that image, and that totally shapes my assumptions. But if I'm not reading, and if I'm not doing more research or digging deeper, um, my perspective is gonna be skewed. And my perspective is also gonna be connected to my bias and my experience. And so I think about how, as a black person, as a woman, as a straight person, as someone in the middle class, all of that informs how I read things and how I engage with things. And so I think we kind of have to be critical in lots of different ways so that we can engage in, with media. And do you also think that they should be held accountable, the bias, should they be held accountable to this? Totally, yeah, I think the media is where we get our information and so if the bias, which is obviously going to be present because it's present in all other institutions in society, um, if we're not able to one name that bias and then shift it or challenge people to shift it, um, I think that's a real problem. And so I think it's really important that if the place that we're getting almost all of our information from is biased in a way in which people are being harmed. It's really, really dangerous. Thank you so much for coming and sharing on this uh, topic. And I hope you guys will all do your information, do your research, and not just focus on what is written in front of you and go beyond that. Thank you so much and see you next time.